Because no, I can we, start talking. We have a purpose now. We are here at the newly dubbed Velocity Chaos Podcast. Welcome, everyone. We're taking it to the next level at speeds unknown and directions unknown, because that's what this is, the Velocity Chaos Podcast. And welcome. We never know how fast we're going, but or we slow. know we're going. <laughs> we, we're going somewhere. And, you know, sometimes I cut you off like that when you're about to do this cool soundbite, but that's just the way it is. Uh, if you want to try it one more time, uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. No, I mean, Velocity Chaos. Yeah, Velocity Chaos. Itself. That's us. Velocity <laughs> VC, the VC podcast, Velocity Chaos podcast, where we bring you the fastest randomness and chaos. Yeah, yeah. Tell your friends. Tell all your friends. So, today... I don't know what we have in store today. Today was on you uh, to to pick the topic, which I thought you did. I did. I have it. Okay. I have it. I have it. If okay. we need it. If we need it. If we need it. If we get there. I uh, thought I thought we were going to lead in with uh, what happened to you today. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll lead in. But I, as our uh, our next, I feel like we'll, we'll start with, uh, always start with our, our daily uh, triumphs and. Okay. P- ploys uh no what's what's the word i'm looking for daily triumphs daily triumphs uh yeah. someone's winning are we not doing a triumph us. and a fail or just all triumphs i mean it doesn't necessarily have to be us tr- we could turn all our failures into triumphs i mean exactly i don't, I don't matter the turn around because that's what chaos we're chaotic okay um so i guess i can start with my um my day started off uh you know normal day worked out uh actually shower idea that's uh, a triumph right there. That's you showered. Tr- I showered, yes. Triumph. That's that's a win start. down in the T column. So I, uh, in the shower, of course, you have your best ideas. I was oh, so I have a second second idea in the in the shower idea. Okay. Um, it's a little less plausible, but I just shower all the time. I'm always in the shower showering, and uh, just coming up with ideas because that's where you come up with the best ideas. I You'll see. have to be there for that, not necessarily in the bathroom, but I'll yeah. shout them out to you. And I'll write them down. Exactly. So you'll be like the perpetual shower guy. Yeah. And we could take gotcha. turns. Okay. Because you have brilliant ideas, too. Yeah. Um, so I got this other video day idea. Uh, either one, probably next weekend might be a little more sense. Okay. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Uh, it involves a cat, and I think uh, that stuff sells. Cats definitely sell. Cats yep. rule. Um. I mean, I'm a dog guy myself, but I can't deny the millions of cat viewers there are out there on YouTube, the internets. So, wait, are you going to tell me this idea? Or not is yet. It just I'm like, going to save oh, this idea. Okay. I'm not going to I'm not spoil it on here. Okay. But I just want to tease it a little We're bit. telling everyone to look out for the idea with a cat in it. Yeah, look out for look out for the cat uh, video. Okay. Um, it involves me going to my parents' house to steal the cat for the weekend nice. and then bringing it. But that's not the story, but that's okay. that's what it involves, us shooting this story. Cat movie coming to you soon. <laughs> this is Keanu. I got to watch that. I, I, that's oh, on yeah. my, my list. Yeah. Um, so that I, like, I have that idea that today is going to be an awesome day. Cool. Um, I, text, I texted you after. I was like, I got, I got something for you. It's going to be sweet. I'll tell you later. I haven't told you yet, but we'll get to that. <laughs> I'll tell you that I'm going to tell you down the line yes. later. I'm still putting it off. <laughs> um, so, okay, I get to work. Um, I've been hoping to get an early shift since I started in this place. Yeah. Um, but the genitals it, are holding me back. Gotcha. I wanted earliest shift you can take at 8 to 4.30. I started off at... 12 30 to 9 p.m uh, then ah. i i got promoted yes went, went to seven no 10 10 30 to seven what a gift that's a yeah <laughs> two hours that's a gift hour and a half I yeah no two hours yeah so i'm thinking i've been here for two years you know uh working really hard i don't want to take anything away from anyone that i work with because they're all great people but i feel like i've been putting in the time in the position I was in, um, to the position I have senior more seniority, but overall with being with the company, other people have been with had a little more tenure. So when it came around to us wanting shifts, the people that have been with the company longer got first first dibs. Ah. 
Uh, right, but they kicked me right back to twelve thirty to nine. Wow, no respect. No respect. Um, so I gotta ask you: is, is there like a turnover every year where they come back and they're like, "Hey, everybody, it's the shift shuffle. Here we go." <laughs> and then like people like get to pick first if you've been there longer. It's like you got more tokens to put down. Like you know, you, you get to play the slots more. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a card. That's kind of how it goes. Okay, yeah. it's a card. Step right up, everybody! <laughs> bring your coins, bring your tickets, because we got a shift shuffle coming for you, and you don't want to miss it. <laughs> There's like a red, like the red balloons are like the seven thirty to like fives. There's like three red balloons. The rest are blue balloons. And like, there's like, well, the majority of our orange balloons, which are the 12, 30, <laughs> and nine, which you like, you had like two darts. Oh, man. <laughs> they even and let it, you go it's first. Just rigged. They even let it's, you go first. But they they're blunted like, this my, the tips of my this uh, darts. <laughs> if you don't hit a balloon, you're fired. <laughs> yeah. That's how. Are you competent enough to, to this throw a This actually sounds like one of the greatest places to work. Yeah, like, I like this place now. I, w- uh, I wish uh, the genitals was not this place. <laughs> it or sounds, I wish it, it was this place. It sounds. It sounds a little um, less interesting. Straightforward <laughs> malarkey. Um, <laughs> No, so I'm, damn, man! So you're back down. You're back up to the twelve thirty. Back, yeah, I get. Yeah, I'm up, never gonna I'm, see you now. I yeah, know, I didn't see you when you were working those shifts. I know, I disappeared. Uh, so Dude, I velocity chaos. This is the it's gonna turn into a morning will, podcast. Possibly, it will live on. This, this is it a will, promise. In some way. knock on wood, if that even applies to this situation, but I've done it already. Luck has nothing to do with this, man. This is, is sheer it? will and commitment. That's true. Velocity chaos. Two guys, two mics, two mics, two headphones, one mixer one computer one shower one shower <laughs> yes we should do that one time just podcast in a shower that'd be great make make everyone guess if it's the same shower okay or if we're at two different showers <laughs> it's up for you to decide <laughs> how weird are we going to take velocity chaos what direction how fast are we going there <laughs> how fast are we going to the weirdness uh so so work I was I was irritated all day. Um, people were like, "Hey, what's wrong?" Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Fuck it!" Like, I'm pissed off. It sucks. Yeah. Um, not at you. It's just the system. It is what it is. You can't, can't, whatever. You're not gonna do anything. And I'm not mad at anyone in particular. Um, just mad. Gotcha. You know? I got you. General state of madness. The anger, anger, the hate was flowing through me. Um, yeah. Yes. Good. Good. It's the worst. It's the worst when something um, is going to happen to you when it's like, hey, you don't have to change the shift right away, but get ready mm-hmm. to go back to the worst. <laughs> Looming. You know, it's just, it's just like, eh, it's bad. It's bad. I mean, at least you'd have to process it. Really like, hey, tomorrow, 1230. Yeah. You know, <laughs> ah, you know, and you just got to do it. But now. It's like you got a nice long month wait to dread that. Yeah. that going I think, back there. and you just sparked something in my head. I think originally it was supposed to be for uh, this coming, not this Monday, but the next Monday, so two weeks. Okay. And um, our soup said, "Oh, there was a system issue. Something happened, so it's going to be a month after. So, so in six weeks, basically. So I wonder if she knew that I'm planning on leaving." She's just giving you some yeah, she's like cushion time. Giving her some cushion time to find a replacement. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what it now and I'm thinking that's what it might be. She's too smart. Too smart. She's, for no, I, she, I love her. She's awesome. That's what I'm saying though. Like I, I I struggle with this sometimes with management because like if she if she wants to give you that space to uh, that that landing strip, it's kinda like, why didn't she just try to do what she could to keep you on. Like if she thinks you're a good employee and you're valuable to the company and they want to nurture, you know, employees like that. Yeah. I know sometimes your hands are tied, but like, yeah. I feel like we could all use a little more mentorship. I think a lot of people, you know, hate on millennials to hate on our attitudes and stuff. But I want to know when's the last time somebody really stepped up and mentored one of us in a job, in a, in a real yeah. job situation. But that's me on my soapbox. I don't want. I'm getting off already. I don't even. I'm, I'm want taking. To make I'm knocking you down. Long winded. <laughs> Put it away. Put it back. <laughs> so to cap off my my shitty shitty uh, emotionally state day. Emotional state day. I I get home, park 
in, in an open spot. And what do I find? I actually, I walked behind my car um, just because there was no one parked behind me at yeah. that time. Um, and what do I see on the, the ground? My Wayne's World hat in the mud. It must have fell out like yesterday. Oh, or something. no. Yeah. Forget everything. E- yeah. This, everything about work. It was everything about work. Kicking the nails. Pales in comparison. Oh. oh, dude, you started off. With a shower thought, you were on top yeah. of the world, and then you just crashed and burned in the mud. Shot it... through the heart, <laughs> and you're to blame, darling. You throw my head in the mud. No, and... and you're to blame. <laughs> All right, not, so, not so is good. it ruined? No, I, it's, it's in my uh, bathroom Thank sink right now. I rinsed it off. God. Um, Mother Mary. I'm just, I guess I'm happy that no one took it. Uh, I'm glad that I still have it because surprised no one did take. Yeah, ha- if someone would have taken, it, I would never know to know, and I dropped it. In in what yeah. scenario? So it, it actually must have been from Sunday when I took my uh, my laundry out of my back car or back seat. So that's that's my my bad day. Um, I apologize for you know I, I normally don't vent. But no, get I'm, it all out there. Get it yeah. all out there. So you I'm said totally cool you had some some bad news. No, no bad news. No, 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 we're all right. You're all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, total 180 we're, on the velocity we're, chaos. We're the velocity <laughs> chaos. You never know. <laughs> One minute we're sad, next minute we're euphoric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's. I mean, that's the day. Um, then you came over. We started. Uh, Jam and blister in the sun. Blister of the sun. Coming to a mic night, open mic night near you. Sometime. As long as you live in Cleveland, probably on the west side. Most, most, yeah, that's most likely. We'll figure it out. We'll make sure it gets posted online for all of our international <laughs> fans. To laugh at us. To laugh at us. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. That's what we're here for. All right. Let's jump in. I, I've been, I've been dying all week um, to ask you this. Um, okay. It's, it's, it's less of a question, more of a command, um, <laughs> but same vein that we're going for. So describe to me your perfect rock star life. Mm. I want to know everything. Band, your stage name, name of your couple of hit singles, yeah. name of your first album, who's your manager. I'll go down the list. Let's, okay. let's, let's dive into this. All dive right. <laughs> So me, it would it would probably still be Lou Corvette. I think that's my stage, my entertainer name. Just to clarify, everyone, it's Lou Corvette. Yeah, L U and then Corvette with a K. Got it. Not to be confused with the the daily peon of Lou Corvette, um, but the alter ego, Lou Corvette. Nice. So, yeah. So I, I think I'd probably go with that. Um, if I were to be in a band already established i would have to go scorpions um, oh no, no no okay 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 okay, no, okay, no, no. okay i'll scratch that then no this is if you like your this is My your meteoric band. rise to fame okay this is all me this is all you this is I'm you and man. your buddy yeah greg and jim <laughs> it'd be dave Bowl. it'd be dave dave okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the drummer's name is drum drum <laughs> he goes by drum that would be he my drums. drummer's name <laughs> like his parents literally named him drum <laughs> And they're like, you will be a drummer. <laughs> Nothing that is else. All. You you don't eat with silverware. You eat with with drumsticks. Drum chopsticks. Drum chopsticks. Uh, you don't. You write with a drumstick pen. <laughs> or you have better yet, you have to like tap out your homework in Morse code on the snare drum. Oh. But like, think of how fast he would get at Morse code. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Uh, nothing. That's just like can't pick the, it up. This is drum solo from from the next album. Yeah, he's he's drum. That's all he does is drum. <laughs> I am drum. That's what he, That's what he says. <laughs> says. I, I, if I was the front man, every show I'd run back. I'd like, well, I'd go through the lineup, and then I'd run back to the drummer, and this is my drummer, and he would just take the microphone. I am. And the whole crowd would just be like, drum! <laughs> It'd be a thing. <laughs> it's the greatest drum of all time. Drum, 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 drum. 
Okay, enough of my. Uh, that's just a glimpse. Into that's my a glimpse life. of. of okay, but okay, let's go to yours. Let's so, um, I I have two veins. I, I always wanted. I love Tenacious D. So, um, Flight of the Concords. I always wanted a comedic uh, acoustic duo. Um, me and my buddy Dave, we've written some songs, played some songs. Uh, I mean, we. Uh, that's 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 the what I would go with. Um, as as that first option, but. As a rock band god, uh, so we got the Luke, Luke Corvette and uh, the Sixty Sixers or something like that, or seven, I don't know, some kind of like uh, s- speed limit um, ending in six, I think, because that kind of just goes thirty six <laughs> mph. <laughs> so, so we got that. Um, That'd be the opening to one of your music videos. <laughs> like, a cop pulls you guys over, like, "Excuse me, boys, but do you know how fast you were going?" Yeah. 36. <laughs> dun, 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 That's good. That's good. So, uh, I guess then I would have to put, um, put one of the songs like just over the speed limit. <laughs> Driving 35 is no good for me. We drive 36 and it's kind of hard to see. So, uh, <laughs> So, that'd be that'd be like the, your first album, just over. Just uh, <laughs> it's just called just over, just over. And then it's thirty six is on a sign. That's the album yeah. cover. It's the artwork. Yeah, just over, just <laughs> over what, man? Just over. It's just over, bro. Get it? Jeez, you know, listen to the album. You'll get it. <laughs> uh, these tires aren't going to change themselves. Kind of like a a, a bluesy folk, uh, nice. maybe country. Okay. Um. You know, it probably has to do with some kind of, uh, you know, rich boy, um, kind of learning, learning life as it goes, thinking everything's paid for, but <laughs> these tires aren't going to change themselves. Nice. And, uh, so it's got, finds out the hard way that sometimes you got to get your hands dirty. So that's, that's the deep one. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's, <laughs> so we're, that's where we're going with that. Um, where we would start, I mean, we probably, we got to start in Cleveland. I mean, that's the place rise up um and i we're not going we're not going internet route here nice. we're going word of mouth old school this is word of mouth we start traveling meet other bands tell your friends this is where we're going find us on the radio just do radio shows show up at radio stations like <laughs> hey yeah. we want to play live yeah we're gonna play live Dude, all we got is like my microphone and like my producer's microphone. <laughs> oh, we'll do it. We'll, we'll do, do it live. We, we got, got it. Got. And then it just sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, How did yeah, they just... get that? Like they set him back like six feet just to get the right. <laughs> but he's leaning over. His... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have an a- engineer that like travels with you and just like <laughs> knows exactly where people should be in the room. His name's Jeff. Jeff. He knows sound. <laughs> Jeff does sound. Jeff does sound. <laughs> Um, no, um, yeah, going, I'd probably get shredded and ripped, you know, I gotta, I gotta, just because, just because, um, keep the groupies happy. Yeah. Uh, I would do some, I'd have a sweet stage move. Nice. Um, probably have to have to do with some kind of backflip involved in it into the splits. And then I hit like a really high pitched note, but I mean, yeah, that's, uh, so it's like, do 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 do, and it's like makes a sound of me flipping, landing on the splits. <laughs> <laughs> if I could hit a high note, yeah. Well, you could at that yeah, point, yeah. Because I mean, I'm a rock god. Yeah, yeah, but also because um, you just like crushed, crushed your nuts, crushed my nuts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, it's what gets you up and over. And, and I can't hit you... that high note unless I do that. Yeah. So, dude, my favorite stage move is um, Matt Schultz from cage the elephant okay he does he does the crowd walk you ever see him do that Mm-mm. he at major festivals i mean that <laughs> band i've i know it's like they're a really good band i know a lot of people love them for me i've just started to like get into them and discover them um because they could be abrasive just with their sound but they're amazing he does he does a crowd walk where he literally would just step off the stage and start walking on the crowd's <laughs> shoulders but they like support his legs Asshole. and he's Singing and going out there, it's amazing. It's, cr- it's so cool. Do but. they put their hands up and he walks on their hands or just shoulders? No, they like Man. they like purposely like give That's them intense. his shoulder, their shoulders, 
and he like walks out there and they basically like take his feet and hold him wow. and hold him up. It's it's crazy. It's amazing. Uh, how do you do that the first time? Like, do you, you just like, do you, I trust guess, me. <laughs> and then, well, he stop. was like huge into the, like the whole stage dives yeah. and crowd surfing. So I think he just modified it. And just yeah, that's pretty epic. Probably started walking on people and they were just like, I'm walking on people. Oh, <laughs> 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 that, oh that's genius. That's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. The pictures of him doing it are amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Those are sweet pictures. Nice. Those look really cool. Yeah. Yeah. We brought those up. <laughs> um, so I don't even, I don't forgot what was the other question. I just started talking about being in a band. No, no. That's what um, I wanted to know. Like, what, what was your rock star life like? But Yeah. Um, cool. So it's so your band's name is 36. Lou Corvette and the, the 36s. Lou Corvette and the 36s. <laughs> or, yeah, no, some, yeah, something like that. Lou Corvette and the 36s. You got this uh, backflip splits. Yeah. It's high note iconic. power move. Um, iconic. I, probably our logo, uh, or maybe not even our, not our logo, but um, the there's an image just of me doing the backflip, and then it's while I'm completely upside down. That's just like the silhouetted uh, logo. I love it. I love it. Blue Corvette. Yeah, that's good. Um, What's uh, go go through my uh, your lineup? Who's your who's your lineup? So I, I like I said, I got my buddy Dave shreds on the guitar, um, cool. electric guitar. Uh, I'd probably throw acoustic guitar in there for me, you know. Uh, that's what I like to do. Yeah. Um, you know, it's in Boston. You get they got the acoustic yeah. electric thing going on. That's definitely. Um. Uh, I get a piano. I don't know necessarily a keyboard. Um, just put it on the stage. Nobody ever plays it. But yeah. Like it's just, up ju- I would just just get a piano. I'd probably walk on it uh, from time a grand piano, but yeah, no one no one might play it. I might sit down like I'm going to play. Just uh, <laughs> but like, you're just resting. Yeah, and just uh, shake off the shoulders and nah, no, nah, all right. Next song, um, <laughs> kind of drum set. Oh, change of gears. I always wow. wanted to create a band called. Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Um, dang it, it's it's Mama's Boys. That's what it was gonna be called. Nice. And you use only store bought toy. Uh, musical instruments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that's the goal of mine. Just like one of those, like, what is it, the, the thing you blow through, but it's a piano, too? You ever see what is Oh, it? the uh, uh, it's the key keyboard, uh, the harmonica keyboard. Like uh, the key zoo or what? Key, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. Probably key zoo. That if it, is sweet. it the key zoo? If it's the key zoo, I'll flip. That's pretty like sweet. That, if it, it's not called the it key zoo, be. it should be called the key zoo. <laughs> 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 but you get those like uh, rinky tink xylophones uh whatever the little pianos with like yeah. the 12 keys you guys could fit on a stage like 10 by 10 square yeah. feet like you just because <laughs> like, you're holding it in one yeah, hand yeah, and then yeah. you got the um whatever kind of shitty guitar and and they you don't it's just every time you push a button burr, burr. <laughs> dude your vocals got to be on point in that band though yeah that's that's what everyone comes to see <laughs> Just harmonizing with this like little xylophone thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, back to Lou Corvette and the Thirty Sixers. Yeah. Um, I like yeah. this one. We're we travel by mouth, hop a few trains if we have to. It's a little tough with the piano, but we do it. And <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like you have like you travel with this like w- like winch and pulley system that like is just <laughs> somebody carries it all the time. You just like. Throw it in onto the train and it pulls the piano up on. And zoom, get away. Does anyone hop trains anymore? I I feel like that's the thing Dude, of the past. Yes, no, people do. I was down in St. Louis like okay. three years ago, and I was there for a service project. We stayed at this really cool. Uh, we we stayed at a cool hostel called the Huckleberry Hostel. Okay, is that and, how you named your dog? No. Okay. Um. Uh. But we were there and. It was just run by a bunch of like hippie guys. Hmm. And the one guy says like we were there kind of in like uh, like going into May. So it's like summertime. It's like, yeah, during the summertime I stay here, hang out, but then like one, fall winter I go and I just hit the trains. <laughs> and I'm like, what's that mean? I just hop on the trains and go. And I was just like, what? <laughs> like he told me the story of where he was like 
on a train one time and the train was going and the storm front came in mm. and it was like winter time and it was just a blizzard just hit the train like because mm. it was just going and went into the storm and he was like well i wasn't gonna get off the train so <laughs> I just strapped myself down. <laughs> just kept going. I was just, he like strapped himself onto the top of the train. Oh, and like, the t- like, like, hit, like hit himself, like, and like strapped himself down because they <laughs> didn't want to get blown off. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? And I'm just like picturing like all the scenes from a Polar Express <laughs> on the roof. But I'm just like, this is like Polar Express meets Snowpiercer. And my friend, this hippie guy is just like stuck on top of this train. <laughs> At the same time, I picture him just wearing these insane goggles and just like once he's locked in, just like looking up into the storm and just like raising his arms and he's just like, is that all you got? Like just like being crazy. Is this it? Is it just like amazing? But just like enjoying because he had this beard and everything. I'm just like thinking it's wild moment i really hope that's as epic as it yeah. was or if he just wasn't like, he's like oh geez it's kind of cold <laughs> yeah, <just> like, <laughs> the, the other version is he's on his back <laughs> strapped to the roof yeah. just like ah <laughs> freezing <laughs> oh so he's on top of the train i'm thinking they're inside the i thought train. he was in I, I know he does travel inside the train but a lot of times they're like locked and you can't so like yeah he climbs up on top and just rides it out dang during the summer i guess it's okay that's a, yeah that's like, right and like, like some a blister views, in the sun, but like, like a blister in the sun. <laughs> but dude, yeah, epic. That's I yeah, mean, wow. I thought about, I thought about doing it. I thought about being him for a little bit, and then I was like, yeah. oh, got something for my yeah. band. Yeah. On okay, we're train hopping. We shoot a music video on top of a train, not CGI, no, no green no screen. CGI. We hop no on insurance. a train. No insurance. We get on top of a train. Get a video crew. We shoot. We shoot a music video on top of this train, moving train, and it'd be epic. And but you don't release it on YouTube because you're not about that internet life, right? No. No, this is MTV. We bring, <laughs> oh, my band's bringing MTV back yes. to what it was. That's your like top three missions. Yeah. So Second is record good music. Record, yeah. So top, bring MTV back to what it was. Second, record good music. Uh, third, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. There you go. <laughs> Let's get our priorities straight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, got got to have that entertainment. Um, I think I would do the the man whoring for a while, honestly, okay. just using my fame to, yeah. to sleep around. Um, but then I would settle down, write a song about some Philly back in Cleveland. I would got your she, heart. She'd be a Cleavy. A Cleavy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, uh, she's got a lot of Cleavy. Yeah, that's. But, uh, I mean, that's that's my lady. <laughs> uh, I guess wherever I find whichever uh, whichever uh, yeah. honey. That, if you're a musician, would you have to marry another musician? Would you have to settle down with a musician? I don't think so. Or would she be like a waitress? Some 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 beautiful waitress like. Uh, she served you coffee one time as you were rolling yeah. through. Janice. Janice. Yeah. She's a little that. older than you, a but older. still. She knows the ways. <laughs> she knows her way around an omelet. She's got a lot of experience uh, scrambling some uh, eggs. Yeah, <laughs> that was that's a yummy one. I yeah. always think that's yummy. Um, yeah, I, I like that. Uh, settled down with with Janice uh, in the long road, uh, but she knows she knows. Uh, I've been through a lot. She's seen a lot of things. A lot of a lot of tumbleweeds blowing through her town. Um, just like you, man. Just like me, how huh? the tumbleweed. But you in the band, us, me in the band, in the thirty sixers. You're a tumbleweed with a giant baby grand piano in the middle of it. That's right. That's that's the way we roll. It's it's more clunky than uh, graceful, but <laughs> that's we made it. We got to the top, and um, just just grinding it out. That's all. That's all we needed to do. Play the music for people. Started on the streets. Now we're here, um, as uh, that one guy would say. Yeah. What is um <laughs> what would be like your hit single? Hit single. Like what's the one that goes top of the charts? Hmm. That hit single. It would have to be Gone Too Far, but it don't matter. 
<laughs> it's across a- the double yellow line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone too far, but it don't matter, cause no one is on the road with me. I'm by myself here in these nights, waiting for the dream. Cross the double yellow line. <laughs> Cross the double yellow line. <laughs> Across the double yellow flag. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's how the song begins. <laughs> yeah. And then and then totally change. But I I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love this song. I want to hear it. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh gone too far, but it don't matter. And, and in parentheses cross the double yellow line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how everyone knows the song. Yeah. So I mean I think my bands uh, as of right now, I know something else is gonna come up, but your band, you got drums in the back. What 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 kind of sweet action? What what's gonna bring you to fame? Um, I always wanted to start like a nice indie rock band called Bear Clan. <laughs> All right, <laughs> should not have uh, attempted to um, moisturize the mouth. <laughs> yeah, no, Bear Clan is the name of my band, and uh, it's very very rustic feeling with some pop blends. Hmm. We're very, very interested in involving new instruments in our sound. Okay. Our lineup's constantly changing, except for me and drums. <laughs> um, we're just, we're always there. Like, on Wikipedia, when you're looking at the, like, nice colored lines of the of the members of the band, like, him and, him and I are the longest ones. Yeah. Say for me, small hiatus, when I come do a couple gigs. Yeah, of course. For Lou Corvette and the... Uh, that's when we go to the 37s yeah the 37s <laughs> just for a split second and yeah. then come back to bear clan but uh yeah bear clan is all about like dominating other bands okay so we would like kind of like meet up with some people on tour and then we'd like break up their band but then oh. we'd like grab a couple of their people low key you know like yeah. we're very much like the vikings of the music industry kind of deal <laughs> so- divide and conquer so you go, you you play with these bands, and like, wow, you're not getting much uh, f- stage time up there. Uh, I don't think uh, the, the lead lead singer really likes you. He's kind of too stealing your thunder. Why don't you go play with us? I'll let you take front stage. Then he's front stage for a few shows, and then he's right in the back. Yeah, and then that's how we do it. Yeah, that's how we do it. But, but everyone, but everyone, see the thing is, I'm so charismatic. Yeah, on stage that when the other guys doing a couple of the front main songs. People just want to see me again. Exactly. They're like, so it creates this mystique and this mystery. Yeah, like, like He opens a set, and then people are like, when's when's he coming out? When's he coming out? <laughs> yeah, you don't come out. You just. I feel like you're kind of behind like a shower curtain. We're talking Ralph Macchio style, yeah. uh, Karate Kid. You're there just you in, a, in a shower curtain. Yes. And then... I'm eventually. on stage the whole yeah, time. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but people don't know. They think it's just a shower. Yeah. Like a weird shower prop on stage. Yeah, it's like, what is that? But I've really been sitting in there for like five songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doing nothing. And then question. You said rustic. Yeah. Rustic indie pop. Yeah. Um, are you talking like Nordic folk rustic or how rustic are we getting? There's some Nordic folk blends. I mean, I, w- I would definitely like to hear. I mean, when I think of like Nordic folk, I think there's got to be some pipes in there. Like some mm-hmm. not necessarily bagpipes, uh, like pan pipes, kind of like more flutey kind yeah. of stuff. That should be layered in under the synths and stuff. But uh, oh, that, that's uh, that's already cut you off. I want some sort of wind. Yeah, yeah. But, but go I mean, we really like build around the. Um, the uh fiddler Ooh. We build around Ooh. the fiddler yeah that's nice. the thing it's like that's our thing you know we we build around them whoever they are at the moment you know because we've already been through like three of them they all like playing with us and we leave amicably but they just yeah it's just they, sometimes they can't take the pressure they can't keep up with the lifestyle um, the, the, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, because Bear Clan does everything together. Mm -hmm. We play together. We travel together. We eat together. We shower Shower together. together. We sleep together. It's like the whole thing. Like, it's It's, it's a Bear Clan. It's supposed to be inclusive, but, like, we're supposed to be family and, like, really create family. Rubbing your musk on each other. Yeah, like, most bands say that. Like, we're family. We're family. We're family. But, But, like, our whole thing is, like, we want to, like, become family. Become one, almost. Become one. Like, the same. But, uh... Yeah, so it wasn't easy. To, it wasn't hard to convince drums to do that because that's, yeah, that's he just drums. was looking that was... for that. Because his parents just, yeah, his parents never really let him fly or do anything else. Every once in a while, 
I'll let him like add a new drum to the kit. Yeah. Every once in a while, like he seems to have a knack for the bass. So I let him like play the bass. I don't oh, as he's playing the drums. Oh, as okay. Yeah. Like he's got that insane got to talent have, yeah. to do that. <laughs> this usually happens when we like lose a, a bassist. Ah. Uh, he's that's covering drums it. is talented. Yeah. Drums talented. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty pretty sweet. Um you got the bear clan, it's just the the bear it it's just got this it's more an aura of the band than anything. It's yeah. just like this power behind it. Oh, the Bear Clan's coming into town. Bear we Clan's have to coming go. Into town. Yeah. And then you got the the little bearettes. Uh the little the bear cubs. The bear cub the little bear cubs and but then the bearettes are the, bear are the ladies. Yeah. Um not to be confused with the with berettas um yeah. guns, but yeah. Yeah. But bear bearettes. Um you know, and I feel like there's kind of like mass orgies, uh just the way you guys sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the that's the thing. We we have the bearettes. Every once in a while, we have we play with this uh, we play with the this this guy. He's you know he's gay, so all the bears come out for him. Mm, the big, yeah. You know all the, you know he's he's <laughs> not a bear. He's, he's a bear. <laughs> he's a cub. Uh, so yeah, but anyhow, we it's it's a good time. Everyone everyone gets what they want. Bear clan's really inclusive. It's all inclusive. Of everyone. Clan. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be for everybody. Um, but uh, the thing is, is like. We're, it's bear clan it's that folk rustic but we're not grimy mm-hmm. dirty no yeah 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 you, you have some some, some i just standards. realized i've talked all about our image not anything about our music <laughs> like, just that's like, but that's what bear clan is bear clan's really it's, all about image. the experience of watching us on stage it, rather than yeah. really what we're we're not really worried about what's coming out of the speakers because we just know because of our Oneness. Our clanness, yeah, the music will just come forth. And I feel like there's some, uh, not perfume, uh, but cologne opportunities. The Bear Clan cologne. Oh yeah, we already launched that. Musk. Yeah, it's the mu- musk. yeah, the musk. Yeah, musk. Uh, out in the wild, alone, but you're not alone. You're with the Bear Clan, spraying the Bear Clan musk. Try it at Walmart or Target. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever other. <laughs> it's uh it's, it's it's for men and women, same thing. For, yeah, same. It, we don't have a men's line, women's line, it's just one cent. Yeah. For yeah. both. It's just the Bear Clan Musk. Yeah, it's just a, an asexual cologne. <laughs> Exclusively to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exclusively to everybody. <laughs> we market to everyone. Yeah. Our demographic is the world <laughs> the world uh just creating one one bear clan we don't need multiple bear clans there's just one bear clan. there's just one bear clan yeah um so what's what's uh what's your first album what, what's the first album you're coming out with i think it's gonna be self-entitled it's just self-titled self it's bear called clan. self-titled no it's bear clan oh. uh, that would have been pretty like uh self-titled that'd yeah. be <laughs> i don't know if that'd be like really cool or would that just be like obnoxious <laughs> like <laughs> I, oh i feel like drums he would he would have a spinoff um uh, band where it's just drum and he drum. just drums <laughs> just drum everything is drum every Twelve track is drum <laughs> just just drum. Drum. <laughs> but he's still doing he asked me if he could time. do that he asked yeah. me and our producer if we could do that but yeah. i we just didn't think it was a good idea no, let him loose in a studio for 12 tracks like, yeah he's by himself <laughs> No, but I, I'm just kidding. I don't think Bear Clan. Um, Bear Clan might be our first album, but the album that really catches on is the second album called Warrior. Oh, okay. And that's just all about um, finding your inner warrior, becoming your own person, hmm. while completely Beyonce, right? becoming homogenous within a group. You know, hmm. so it's the whole battle between identity and belonging, and how those two things can be dissimilar but also the same thing yeah no one that's what we're trying to capture in warrior yeah you know this battle with ourselves we want you to be that i'm constantly fighting with all of my bandmates yeah yeah you want we, we want you to be yourself but just know that your brother bear's got your back and you better be you better have brother bear's yeah, back too yeah. we had 20 musicians work on warrior 20 different musicians nice you know, there's only two tracks, but it's like 20 different musicians. Yeah, that's pretty pretty awesome because you just there's so many sounds going on. Yeah, and 
I mean, these tracks, well, I mean, one of them's only like a minute, 37 seconds, but the other one, it just captures you because it's, it's... It's an epic. It's an epic. Did you listen to it? You I, might have only got a part of like, part way through it. It's like... I, yeah. It's I, like, I got it to is the 37 like, minute marker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I, had to, I had to bookmark it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we probably could have just broken it up into a couple different tracks, but I thought... I thought it'd be cool for the producer, like the producer and I just talked about it. He he really did. I make a lot of decisions without him. I kind of like, I like, hey, hey, Chuck, hey, hey, yeah, okay, go ahead. So I do it, you know. Yeah. But um, that's because you're the Bear Clan chief. Yeah, I'm the chief, I, and I'll always be the chief. That's right. Unless drums stabs me in the back with a sharpened drumstick. <laughs> he sharpens. I've seen him. I've seen shift. him. Doing something back there. I thought he was whittling. He's whittling. But how do how do how do carpenters uh shape their wood? Whittle by whittle. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. That's, that's, that's my my good clean joke. <laughs> good, good. Um so yeah, so possible so drum drum's your biggest fan too, I feel, um, in a way. Uh, and he pulls a, a Selena on you and possibly oh shit <laughs> and that might be a little too much but <laughs> if it were to happen i feel like no I, it would be a power struggle drum drum wants to do more than drums he wants to drum drum and something else yeah he wants to do it all really yeah and i encourage him to do to push his limits but he has to drum he, he's got a drum that's what he was made for yeah built for so, I think I think uh, I think Berkeley should go on tour with uh, Lou Corvette. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And then, because I mean, I I did have I uh, started off with six members. I mean, last time we went on tour. Yeah, I know, I know. I, yeah, I left yeah. with four members. Yeah, but, but that was okay. It, I, just we, put we, them back. Yeah, we they came back eventually, but yeah, yeah. Was, I think it worked out for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. They don't play with us anymore. Of course, of course. Um, but I mean, we Lou Corvette in the thirty thirty fours um you know we made it we made it <laughs> i mean it's got there's got to be that one album that's like uh, lou corvette in the 35s it's just like yeah. vintage because there's it was. it was like there was a, only a brief time that you were the 35s yeah majority of the career of the arc's been the 36ers you did the 34s after you toured with bear clan but like the 35s was like right there it, it was it was that transitional stage where it was we don't know what we are but this is what we have right now yeah and it was just magical that's and awesome it's because we 35 was music. magic number yeah we, we just had our music in us and, that's awesome, and we dude. made it um so you got your second album warrior mm -hmm. um what, what what's what's uh what's the title of uh, some year or what's the what's your best uh single our best singer single would be uh, I don't know. There's I mean there's a lot that have potential. I don't think yeah. any of them really caught on yet. But uh, okay, I would say our best single and the one that's probably going to go to the top is War Drum. Oh, just because. It is the track that we did let drums do by himself. Yeah. And he, I got to be honest with you, he's like, he's really the best musician <laughs> in the band because he's like really the only one who's been playing for a long time. Yeah. He can hit like 66.6 .6 beats per minute. He can tell that, that decimal yeah. place. Like yeah. That's but, how good but he is. But War Drum, I mean, as a, as a dance song, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's very tribal, very like fun. Lyrically, it's very simple. There's just like the one hook. Yeah, that's it. When you hear the war drums, and then it just and goes on it. for you and know, that's it. it's just a drum solo. Um, Cause I hear the war drums. We we actually there's a secret release coming out for uh, another version where I, I did a bass oh. for it, but it's it's like very very in, like abstract. It's just like three tones. Mm that happened once or twice <laughs> in the song. So, yeah, so look out for that, but War Drum definitely the best one. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's it's epic. It's epic. Yeah. I sang the hook. I I left the studio for the day. I'm just like, "You got this." Drums was like, "Cool." Producer Chuck was like, "We got this." And uh, you know, that was it. Nice. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's that's what we would have been. I mean, well, we still can be. We still could we still be. can be. And I think with your beard, um, I think you're taking on the Bear Clan persona. Yeah, I think you can get that um, for sure. Um, Good. So I mean, I, th- I think I think we're moving in the right direction. Uh, our, our dreams. We're not going to let our dreams be dreams anymore. No. That's no. That's done. Not on Velocity Chaos. No Velocity Chaos. Yeah, we consider all things to be potentially real. We explore dreams. Um, Sometimes the lucid ifs. ones. Loose, yes. Uh, get your theta waves. Shout out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> awesome band. Um, cool. Check them out, Cleveland. Theta yeah, waves. go check out theta waves. Um, but no, yeah, we we do we do that, and uh, one day things things will come to us from from said places that are unknown, and the times that we have together are special moments with one and all of us because moments are special in and in, in of themselves because the sand of time doesn't stop dripping or turning or twisting like that of the Moroccan dance tribe and the shaking and the the twiggling of the trees all times in the summer even though we're currently in the winter with the snow falling down and a pitter patter of the mouse's footsteps across the room as you're trying to take a nap because that is what we do here at Velocity Chaos. We just talk about things that we imagine uh, could happen or would have happened or will happen at any time from here until any time it ends. <laughs> Which it just did. <laughs> oh, I love that. Velocity Chaos. See you next week, everybody. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>